All right, so here's the way the templating works. You copy the templates from the module listed up here in step one. And then uh, you use the result template for the group, right? So it, it, it normally everything comes in uh, unordered list or an ordered list. And then you, uh, and, and, and that's what you're really defining is the way the group appears or the unordered list. Third, you use the results template. Oh, you know what? I think I have that reversed. I'm sorry. Result is a single result. The results is for the, the list as, as a whole. Sorry. And the result itself is for a single item on that list. I'm not paying attention to my own writing. Uh, then you, then if you want, you can select uh, view, met, view mode templates instead of using the single result. Uh, you can't use both. You have to use either or. And that's what it'll, that's what it'll use, depending on what you selected in the previous form down here at the bottom on the bottom arrow. All right. All right. That's the whole slideshow. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you some examples of some things that we've done. So going to select window. Here we go. So here's a prototype of the of the photo directory we were trying to show. And here I searched for Martin Luther. You can see that it shows photos that were posted in the years 2011, 2013, 2010. And, and they were posted in, art, uh, in articles or in um, uh, areas involving the, the African regions, the domestic regions, and so forth, and then countries that were also referenced in, in those postings. But we could do something a lot more broad, like China, right? And here I've got a lot more results. I've got a total of 134 results. See right there? And of these, the facets show that I've got China 130 uh, directly mentioned China. Uh, 16 of them have the United States and so forth. And there were a whole bunch posted in 2010. I wonder what that's all about. So I hit 2010 and drill down to everything with that. And now I see it's just China and North Korea. And I've got months here because when you select a year, uh, the way I had my search results, uh, the way I had my search results set up, down to months as soon as years are done. Let's see. I'm supposed to remind you to use the bubble to ask questions. It uh, looks like uh, we've had oh boy, we've got 28 people in 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 the uh, group now. Uh, so go ahead and click on the. Uh, in your little control panel there, there should be a bubble, which is second from the left, uh, a little orange bubble. And you click on that, and uh, then you can post your questions to me, all right? OK. Um, so uh, using my uh, template here, I was able to also, uh, in, in the theming, present uh, uh, special function functionality. I've got this little uh, entity pop-up module that I built that lets me pop up a whole node as a result. And, you know, looks like that. Isn't that pretty cool? And if I want, I can go to the to that page itself. There's a the page being displayed. All right. OK. Uh, let me show you just real quick the code for the, the theming here that we did. There's not much to it. Pretty simple. And switch. To that window right here. So here I'm using Coder, and I've I've got a whole bunch here. And I'm in this case I decided to use a teaser, and I'm using my teaser template, which uh, the the syntax is in in the file name. You you say node dash dash, and then the name of the entity, which is image record for me, and then dash dash, and then the name of the view mode, which is teaser then .tpl.php, and then it picks it up. You can see also down here that I've got uh, the search API, where to go, here we go, search API result, which is being used, but not the search API, oh, excuse me, search API page results, and search API page result right there. And the results is being used 
being plural, meaning the whole aggregation of everything. But I'm not really using this single version of the result right here. Um, instead, I'm just using the teaser, which looks a little bit different. And if you go to my teaser, you can see the special uh, uh, codes that I use right here. Just They're just classes, just little um, that are being used for my for my pop-up. Uh, so pretty easy stuff. That's the whole thing right there. Um, any questions? This is, this is the best time for questions. Let's see. How many hours of coding? Okay. Um, oh, gosh. Well, because in Drupal, when we contribute to something, we don't contribute by ourselves. Um, there are a lot of guys who put, put hours on in this besides me. I was the first to do all of the coding. And, uh, you know, as in, in Drupal, you, you code it, and then you submit it for approval to the community. And the community reviews it, and they all yeah, make fun of you. No, they they don't make fun of you. They, all, <laughs> they 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 pick out the things that need to be changed, and and then you have some debate. You go back and forth, and then you change it. Or Thomas will look at my code and go, "Hey, what's going on, Tom? You you know, did you even look at this?" And uh, it's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't look at that part." And then I fix it. There was a lot of back and forth. So, but I am certain that there were, I think I could say plural hundreds of hours of coding in this. Yes. Yeah, um, but you know we we do all the coding up front on the modules so that the users who are using this module don't have to. Anyone else? How easy is it to get started at an agency using this now? Oh, there we go. get started at an agency using this. Uh, oh, so you've got a use case at an agency that you want to use, do this with. Okay, well, the, the hardest thing I think for most agencies is server uh, uh, management. Most agencies prefer not to get too deep into that. And so if you can get someone who is in charge of the hosting to install Search API for you, and then feed them the uh, the little configuration files from this. Uh, excuse me. Uh, to, to install API Solar for you, or excuse me, uh, Apache Solar for you, and then feed them the the XML files from the Search API module. Um, then then the hard part's over. Then it's just a matter of you know just configuring your search and doing the theming. So no, it's not hard. It, it, it's a very minor part of the, the amount of thing that goes on in a, in a normal uh, ad agency project or, or uh, website agency project. Does that answer your question? Good. Anyone else? Have you found this to be successful? Uh, it depends on your measure of success. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it does exactly what we wanted it to do. This is the third version of, of this project that we've prototyped, and everybody loves it. But they love it so much, they want me to keep building prototypes, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. OK. Um, let's see. In displaying new types of search, how did you measure success for this? So it's not yet in use. No, this this is not open to the public. What you are seeing is private. Um, but you're, you're probably going to take down this URL and try it just to see. And yeah, you might be able to get it, but don't publish it, please. Thank you. Um, anything else? A 
love playing with faceted search just to see what it can do. Here we go. One had uh, 1100, 1100 results. Ones in Japan. There we go. Let's see. Is there a plan for this at State in the future? Oh yes. Yeah, multiple plans uh, for wider use. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, I think there are a lot more uses for this outside of, of uh, government uh, in the private sector, frankly, um, especially with e-commerce. I mean, sure, Drupal Commerce does a great job of presenting your, you know, your, your products, but, you know, maybe you've got some special ways of presenting things that you, you know, you want to use. And, Maybe you want a little more powerful search. Maybe you need to support many thousands of nodes, uh, which native search is kind of bogs down with. And, you know, that's the one thing about Apache Solar is it, it really has a horsepower that you, know, that you don't get from native Drupal search. Any else? You know, I, I kind of admire the the UN is as you can guess at the State Department we, we look really closely at what the UN does what the White House does and they both have really great um, repositories of photos UN has six seventy six thousand photos in their repository or something like that and and it's ugly but they have a lot and it comes up pretty quick and I think you know what I you know I, I want to build something that big and start collecting. We're up to around 12,000 nodes in this little project here, but it can go a lot further. Um, oh, you know what? I never did introduce myself. Um, my name is uh, Tom Ogden. I am the sole Drupal developer, as far as I know, in the Department of State. There are other developers in state, but I'm the only one that I know that works just in Drupal. Um, I work for the uh, Bureau of Public Affairs. Uh, we work on uh, DIPNOTE, the, the official blog of the State Department, um, and uh, all the social media, and uh, help out with the main uh, elephant of, of all of our websites, which is state.gov, which is more than anybody should have to do in a lifetime. Um, I uh, have been working in Drupal for about five years, something like that. Um, and before that, I was building my own proprietary CMS uh, for about eight years. And after a while, having had a career in software development since 1992, uh, I realized that I wouldn't be able to keep up with features and coding forever. And so I looked for something to replace it. And after a two-year search, uh, my friends and I, or my friends, helped convince me that Drupal was, was it. And I looked at the code and said, hey, this looks just like my stuff. And I've been with Drupal ever since. Uh, this prototype was done all in house by you. Uh, yeah, actually. Um, I, I had some help from uh, uh, some of these, some of these parts came from work that Rock Creek did for uh, as far as theming goes. Uh, but the engine, everything under it, uh, all came uh, off of my desk. Thank you so much, Tom.